Hey everybody, this is Tori from Hughes Wave Motion Machines. This is another instructional video for how to trap the air bubble inside of the air trap on one of the newer generation machines. If you have an Adriatic or a Caribbean uh, vintage, more, more vintage machine, I have another video on how the uh, process works on those. So if you can look and see here what I'm actually talking about, you see that air bubble that's there at the top of the vessel here? that shouldn't be there and the thing is most of the machines that you're gonna buy if you don't buy it from me that you'll find on eBay are gonna have a very large air bubble in them because of evaporation issues with the old lava formula so basically let's go ahead and turn this on and see how the operation looks and as you can see you got your air bubble traveling back and forth and this is actually my formula in here as you can see it's very nice but that air bubble is a little bit annoying. So, there is actually a mechanism that's incorporated directly into the end of the vessel called an air trap. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and show that to you. This end, the end that doesn't have the plug on it, has an air trap built into it. Now, if you look from one side, you can see that there's a cutout at the bottom of the air trap, and that's on the same. Uh, orientation as where you would line up the vessel with the base. The longer end on the other side of this cut right here that you see there, that little cut, the longer end of the vessel goes on the same side as the wheel because it's a cantilever setup so there's leverage to move the vessel so that it's actually balanced and falls back into place. So anyway, basically the way you're going to trap this air bubble here is you're going to stand your machine up or your vessel up on end, okay, and you're going to let that air bubble come up into the trapped area. It's a little tough doing this with uh, one hand and trying to film, but you can see the air bubble. Right now it's in the vessel. Now with the unit upside down, see there's your cut, I let the air bubble travel up into that hole and now the air bubble is in that little trap and then I'm gonna tilt it very carefully and voila there's your air bubble now we're gonna very carefully place the base or place the vessel on the base okay and after you trap your bubble you want to give the uh, fluids a couple of minutes to settle usually this isn't very bubbly right now but you'll have some bubbles when you disturb the fluid like that. But this looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and turn it on and see how the operation looks. See the difference there? Looks much, much cleaner, right? That's why I always recommend against you guys buying your machines from other sellers on eBay because most of these people obviously they're not going to be experts on the machines and you know as long as it moves they figure it works okay. But at Hughes Wave Motion Machines I try to sell you only the best quality machines and if there is any kind of an issue like that with it I'll disclose that before I sell it. But anyway back to the point of this whole video you can see your air bubble trapped over there. And that's exactly how a well-operating machine should look. And just look how beautiful those waves are. Unfortunately, this one isn't for sale any longer. This is already purchased by a customer in Australia, and it's being shipped out tomorrow. I do have another that I'm working on if you are interested in this exact design of machine. So, just another quick instructional video to help you guys take better care of your machines. Take care, everybody. Make sure, make sure to check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash wave motion machines.